Hello there. So today I wanted to talk to you about a certain concept that uh, that I got from a book I read recently. It's uh, called Originals by Adam Grant. It's an excellent book, by the way. I liked it a lot. Um, I won't talk about the whole book here um, because it's, I mean, it is relevant to what we do. It, it, basically what he's talking about, he's talking about people who do original work. And uh, by original work, he means obviously works that are hits, that change the way in which we see things that you know, are game changers in their own specific industry or field or whatever it is. And he talks about how they're able to do it, why they're able to do it, and, you know, how we can replicate this. And in essence, I just wanted to talk about one concept that he touches on here that got me thinking about doing original work and how it relates to what we do, to being a freelancer and, uh, and to our work as freelancers and as entrepreneurs. And uh, so this is what he mentions. This is the quote. I mean, the quote more or less. I, this is from my notes of the book. Um, so here we go. Mozart. Mozart composed more than 600 pieces, Beethoven 650, Bach over a thousand. The more pieces a composer produces, the greater the chances of a hit. Uh, Picasso made over 1,800 paintings, 1,200 sculptures, 2,800 ceramics, and 12,000 drawings. Maya Angelou wrote 166 poems and seven autobiographies. Einstein had 248 publications. So, his, well, his conclusion for the whole thing is, if you want to do original work, as he calls it, original work, do a lot of work. Um, so, great. So, how does this apply? I mean, this is definitely an interesting factoid, I guess. But how does this apply to what we do? Well, in essence, what we're doing is, well, you know, we're basically trying to build our own business and we're trying to create something out of nothing. You know, our, uh, we're trying to earn a living from being freelancers. And uh, so, and we want to see results. Whenever we start off, we don't get results. It's very rare that someone on their first application to their first client, you know, actually gets business. And so we start off slowly and then we build it up. And in essence, what he's saying there is that if you want results from what you do, you have to do a lot of it. And, uh, you know, anyone who's had some success can, can attest to this, you know, can say, well, it took a long time. You know, at the beginning, you're just trudging along, trying to figure out what sticks and what works. And then after a while, you get to it and, you know, something works out. And, but w the way I want to relate this is, because uh, right now, if, you, if you're struggling to become a freelance translator, then that's what you're trying to do. But even if you are, you know, okay as a freelance translator, then chances are you're still struggling with something, right? Like maybe sales. You're not good at sales. You're very good at the translation part, but you're not good at sales. I know that was the case for me, right? And uh, because, and I, and I feel like it's a lot of that for a lot of freelancers, because if you're freelancing, you like to work on your own, maybe, you know, work from a laptop in a coffee shop or something like that. And you don't like dealing with people too often and sales, you have to deal with people, unfortunately. Um, but it could be anything else. Maybe you're struggling with some of the translation quality for what you're doing, or maybe it's uh, learning a new language. It could be anything. But, you know, if we stick to translation or to freelance stuff, then, yeah, it could be some skill that you're trying to, uh, to it's something you're trying to accomplish. Basically, let's say sales, uh, because I imagine that's the deal for a lot of you. A lot of you are trying to pick up sales and trying to get better at it, and maybe you're not too good at it. You don't like sales. You, you know, you want to be a freelance translator or freelance whatever and not to be a salesperson. So how do you get better at it? Well, the secret is, unfortunately, there is no secret formula, but it's just to do a lot of it. And uh, for those of you who know Malcolm Gladwell, you've heard the 10,000 hour rule. And, you know, basically there he's saying that people who are experts at stuff, I mean, he quotes uh, like, you know, the Beatles and stuff like that, that you basically spend 10,000 hours doing something, professional athletes and stuff like that. Now, I, I've several issues with that. I don't think you necessarily need 10,000 hours and there are many ways around that. But look, let's face it. If you do a lot of something, you're going to get it right after a while. And the good thing, you know, so when Picasso or Mozart did all their works, you know, they got some right and that's why they're famous. But, you know, if Picasso did 1,800 paintings, 1,200 sculptures, 12,000 drawings, 2,800 ceramics. He's not famous for all of them by any means. You know, he's famous for a handful of them that we know. And, uh, and then and all the other ones, he's not famous for at all and probably would not be famous had he not done those few that we know him for. And so how does this apply to us? Well, the good thing for us is that in sales, what we only need to get it right once you know, out of all the times we try, because once we figure it out, what works and what doesn't, 
then we know what to point on. So, you know, if we're trying like Facebook ads and those don't work, we try face to face meetings, we try email blast or, you know, whatever it might be. And then we realize something works all of a sudden. You're like, oh, when I do face to face meetings in this certain location, I got clients. Then you keep doing that. You only need to figure out what works once and then you can keep doing that and replicating it, copy and pasting it and making it work over and over and over again. Unfortunately, to find out what works in the first place, that's when you need to be doing a lot of it and you need to be doing it all over the place. And, you know, that's the hustle. And so in essence, the hustle means to keep doing what you're doing and uh, keep trying and keep going at it. It's always a numbers game, as, as I've said so many times in these videos. And uh, so you just need to keep trudging along and figuring out what sticks. And th in this book, Originals, talking about how these great people did so much of what they do, it shows that it's the same no matter where you go. You have to keep going at it, keep going at it, keep going at it until it works out. And then once it works out, it really works out. And, uh, and so that's what you should be shooting for. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's in essence what I want to say. So if you are struggling with sales, the secret to having better sales, to doing better sales is to do a lot of them. And I know it sucks because sales is the last thing you want to do usually. I know that that's, that was the case for me. I'm like, I'm good at translation. I want to do my translations. Why should I be doing sales? I was doing the bare minimum. And then I got one sale. I'm like, okay, whew, I can relax for now. But no, you know, that's the thing. You should be getting good. And so my goal there for sales, and that's why I could relate to this, was I was like, okay, I need to obviously dedicate more time. I need to get good at this. So my goal was I want to be able to teach sales to someone. I want to be able to, you know, teach other people, other freelancers, how to go about sales and marketing. And, and that's what I did. I literally have a course now. It's up on Udemy. I'm, I'm not going to link to it. I'm not trying to, uh, also because I don't feel like looking for it now, but um, it's, uh, you know, I, because I was able to gather enough information that worked and I was able to make it work out. But I, I really had kind of this switch of mentality. I was like, I want to, if this is something I don't like. I want to be able to teach it. I want to be able to know it so well, not only get to know it and get to know, you know, the basics and all that. I want to know it so well that I can teach it. So right now, for all of you struggling to do something, probably something you don't like doing much. I imagine sales or marketing or something along those lines is a big part of it. I challenge you to do a lot of it and for your ultimate goal to be able to do so much of it that you could teach it to someone else. And that, because if you learn enough of it and you apply enough of it, not just learn the theory, but actually use it enough that you can teach it to someone else, at a certain point, you'll find that it's really starting to work. Something is going to work out and then you can concentrate all your effort on that and then you'll have it down. And, um, and that's going to take a lot of work. So yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, it's not a, not so much of a hack or a get rich quick scheme or anything, but you know, I'm just telling you, you're going to have to do a lot of work, but a lot of work that's targeted in the right way can really show results. And, uh, anyway, that's what I got from this book, which by the way is, is a great book for other reasons as well. But, um, it's, uh, it's, it's just a concept that I wanted to share with you guys that I think is very useful that I know I've found useful in the past and I could really relate to it when I read about it in this book and hopefully you can find useful as well. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, so don't forget to click thumbs up and like, if you do, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.